Well, my name is Kais Dai. I'm a PhD student at the University of Vigo, and I'm here to present the work of my colleagues, Celia gonzalez Nes Pereira, Ana Fernandez Filas, and uh, Professor Rebecca Diaz Redondo. And uh, the paper is uh, titled uh, Am I Failing um, Discourse Risk uh, Prediction Using e Learning uh, Data? So the objectives of this uh, paper uh, is to study um, the relationship between the students' uh, interaction with the e-learning platform and uh, the, mm, the final uh, marks. And uh, in order to obtain some indicators uh, and try to predict uh, the students' uh, behavior and results. And also um, the, our work, um, um, we present um, uh, an algorithm that detects the, 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 the students that are in risk of failing uh, a course. So this uh, presentation will be as uh, follow. Um, first, we'll um, uh, start by describing uh, the data set um, that we used. Um, then uh, we'll uh, give some details about how we have obtained the indicators using uh, correlation and uh, time series analysis. And then um, we'll describe the, the risk detection algorithm um, that detects the uh, risk of failing a, a given uh, course. And finally, we, we will provide some conclusions and uh, um, some future lines. So um, in our experiment, we have used uh, the learning platform um, of, um, based on Moodle of the University of Vigo. And, uh, and uh, this, um, this um, study, um, the data that we have used uh, is um, about uh, a blended course um, of the second year of the communication engineering uh, grade. Um, well, we have used um, uh, data of uh, two uh, consecutive academic years, 2012-2013, uh, and then 2013, 2014. The first academic year, the data of the first academic year uh, was used um, as a training data, and uh, the, the data of the second academic year uh, was used as um, a test data uh, for our um, uh, detection, risk detection uh, algorithm. So um, for the first year, for example, we have uh, around 152 students. Uh, and for the second one, uh, 171. So um, we start uh, by studying the correlation between the interaction of students with the e-learning platform and uh, the f their final marks. So uh, here, um, here is the, the correlation be between every uh, single uh, interaction that uh, every student um, performs on the uh, on the platform and uh, the fi their uh, respective final marks and uh, here as you can see um, all the values are are positive um, that means that there is a relationship between uh, these uh, interactions and uh, the the final marks but uh, the values are um, between uh, 0.02 and 0.4 so um, the, this relationship is not very clear. We have de decided to go one step further and to, to make the uh, time series analysis. And um, for the time series analysis, uh, we started by um, making um, the time series analysis of uh, the, uh, the daily interactions of students on the, uh, with uh, the platform. And we have divided into two groups, uh, the one with highest uh, grades and those we ha with uh, lowest grades. And uh, here we can, uh, sorry, here you can see uh, that we have uh, decomposed the, the, the time series into their compound. The first one, uh, the, the, the trend uh, in, uh, in red, the seasonal, and uh, the noise and the autoregressive uh, compound. Um, sorry. 
here, as you can see, um, the, the trend for the uh, students with uh, highest grades are higher than those uh, th than the trend of uh, uh, students with uh, lowest uh, 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 grades. And here we have plotted both uh, trends. And um, as a conclusion, we can say that uh, uh, the, the trend uh, can be used as a predictor of, of, uh, um, um, of uh, predicting uh, the, the risk of, uh, of fail uh, in a, a given course. So now we'll explain a little bit uh, the, our risk detection algorithm. Uh, as we said before, we have two, uh, the data, data about two academic years. Uh, the first data, uh, the first year, the first data about the first year was used um, um, for training and the second one for, for testing. And we have fixed uh, three uh, control points. Um, three control points, um, the first one uh, was um, after, after the first uh, uh, lab and the practical quiz, which is in the, in the uh, eighth uh, uh, week, uh, is when we have enough reliable information to, to give a first prediction, because we have enough reliable information about uh, students' behavior. Uh, then um, in, the in the 12th week, we, have, we fixed the second uh, control point, and um, um, is we have uh, enough information to give a good uh, uh, prediction um, to students uh, before it becomes too late to warn them um, about the risk of failing uh, this course. And uh, the third and final control point is in um, the fourth, 14th uh, week. Um, it's, um, it's like uh, the uh, last one that we can give to a student before in risk uh, of failing uh, the course. So the first part of the risk detection algorithm is to calculate uh, the trend compoundment uh, of the first uh, academic year, 2012-2014, until the control points. So as we, we present before, we have three control points. So we have uh, um, uh, calculate the trends for these uh, three, uh, three um, control points. So um, we have also divided the, um, the students into four groups. Those with, uh, who, who have, have, have um, uh, a withdraw, withdraw the, the, the course. The, f the uh, second group um, which have be a grade between zero and three. Uh, a third group between three and six and the final group um, uh, with students that have between 6 and uh, 10. And here we can uh, see the trends of these groups for each um, period uh, from the beginning of the course till each uh, control point. So um, the second part of the risk detection algorithm is um, to is um, takes into account the data that we have in the second academic year. So we start by calculating the trend uh, of each uh, for for each student. Then uh, we'll, we we uh, we search into um, the trends that we have obtained in the first academic uh, year uh, for the tra training uh, training uh, data, and uh, we try to look for the most similar uh, trend. And then uh, we classify the student in the group that, that, uh, that uh, corresponds the most. For, uh, for testing, we, we compare if the student that the algorithm um, detects as a risk finally uh, fail uh, the course. So as you can see in this table, uh, as a global uh, results, we have um, very good results um, for the uh, first control point uh, here, 84% um, um, detected as a risk in failing the course, and they actually uh, um, failed the course. And uh, um, for the uh, third control point, 93% uh, uh, um, um, failed the course as we have uh, predicted. Uh, the results um, 
um, by groups are not so accurate, but uh, we can see that we obtained uh, 80% 80, 80 um, um, starting from the second control point, um, which is um, quite uh, good. Also, uh, we have a 1.4% uh, as not, not detected, and um, these results um, are um, satisfactory. So as conclusions, um, the number, we can say that the number of interactions with the e-learning platform um, is, um, there is a relationship between the number of interaction with the e-learning platform and the final uh, marks. Also, um, we can use the trend um, of the temporal series um, uh, analysis as a predictor to, to say if a student is in risk of failing a given course. Uh, also, um, we use the trend uh, compound. We have used the trend compound compound to create a risk uh, detection algorithm that detects with uh, uh, success 84% uh, since the first control point and 93% or 94% since uh, um, at the third control point. As um, future works. We, we uh, intend to extend our study with other courses in order to, to see if uh, with other characteristics uh, we still have uh, the same results. Also, we uh, intend to improve the algorithm to detect uh, uh, the grade uh, threshold, but also to fix the control points uh, because we did it manually in, in this work in order to minimize the, the error. Uh, also, uh, we are trying now to, to develop a Moodle plugin uh, that uh, tries to, to trigger and warn students, but also professors, uh, about students that are in risk of failing a given course. Uh, we also intend to use deep learning techniques um, in order to uh, improve um, our prediction algorithm, but also this uh, this. Uh, this technique will help us, um, will we'll try to um, improve, learn and improve uh, uh, by itself using new uh, data. So I think that that's all. If you have any questions, 